I stood like this, then the Lord spoke to me. He said, 2024 20, is a year of worth transfer. the word and the word is the time of shame the time of disgrace the time of you being taunted that time is over I said that time is over in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as we welcome 2024 I want you to be saying goodbye to every sorrow goodbye to every sickness goodbye to every disgrace in the name of Jesus that time of you crying because it is month end and you don't know what to pay for rent that time is long gone the Lord has seen you indeed and the Lord has heard your cry and the Lord has sent a prophet to redeem you to deliver you I want to make declarations for 2024 in 2024 these are the declarations for you in january the lord will fight for you in february the lord will lift you up in march the lord will bless you in april the lord will heal you in may there shall be a success in june the Lord will lift you up in July God will fight for your battles in August a new chapter will open for you in September divine connections in October people who wronged you shall apologize in November I see the hand of God so strong upon you and you shall move from one level to another level and in December I'm seeing you back in Malawi to honor and praise the Lord for what he has done four three two your light the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord out on me the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord is we said Wave your light, wave your light, somebody. Wave your light, wave your light. 
Wave your light. 20, 24. Wave, wave your light, wave your light. You, for these last days, have anchored our economy in such a way that we stand in awe. So what I want to say tonight is, Prophet, the man of God, this should not be the last. The Bible speaks of positive things that he will raise up a people strong and might. This, this Karo Bahata Karusha, these people that God shall raise in the last days are a people from the church strong and who have never been. They will be very powerful in business, in education, in their careers, in prayer, in holiness, strong and the mighty like they have never because the Bible says for he loved the world that he gave his life so that whosoever believe in his name should not perish so if we are all perishing what is the purpose of his cross in the book of revelation it says for this reason the son of god manifested all works of the devil i stand on my altar every work of the devil in your life shall be destroyed in the name of jesus in 2024 you shall fear the lord with all your heart with all your might